I was trained as a sculptor, so I'm really interested always in molding processes and how things get formed through society, political things, but also like really physical terms. My name is Katrin Horneck. I'm from Vienna. I'm a visual artist and I got invited here to work within the exhibition that's called Plastic Entanglements. And I got invited to do a piece that involves the library. And since within my artistic practice I really like to follow kind of streams of information, I thought it would be really interesting to revisit a project that did uh, also at the LA Public Library in 2013. I borrowed all the books with the word plastic in the title and I uh, took a photo of all the title pages and then sorted them chronologically so when you flipped through the books you saw how the term plastic evolves over the century. Anything before 1939, just put a pile back. But it basically goes around 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Yeah, I'm still very interested in how this term plastic doesn't describe a material, but actually a quality of a material, and how also this term kind of gets formed and forms itself through the century. What I like here very much also is that I can actually carry the books. In, in LA, they was, I wasn't allowed to borrow them, but here, well, you see, they, they left the library and I really liked it. And I also really like that it's, it's like a collective book move, an effort to make the library plastic free for like 10 days. To me, it was really interesting to, to do this project here again in another institution because in LA it was the LA Public Library and here it's the Penn State University Library, an education institution or research university. So I was really interested which books I will find here, and it does really differ. Now they are sorted chronologically because I want to, I go through each pile and look for the books where the term plastic changes. The final piece is going to be a photograph. Of course, there are only so many books that you can have on a photograph, like the the spines of the books that, that can be captured on a photograph. So to me, it's really important to kind of curate the timeline for that spines, uh, because, I mean, it tells your story anyway, so I want to tell the story I find interesting.